Our Innovation Summit 2018 coverage is proudly powered by Amazon Prime. Learn about all the included benefits and get a 30-day free trial by going to plughitslive.com slash prime and by audiobooks.com. Get a 30-day trial and a free audiobook to keep by going to audiobooks.com and using promo code TRY70. It's not just theory they're taking things to practice, but that's not the only part of USF that is not theory, but taking things to practice. We have our next guest here. Hello. Oh, you'll be, there you go. One more try. Hello. There you are. Go ahead and introduce yourself for me. Hi, my name is Valerie McDevitt, and I'm the Associate VP over the USF Connect and the Tech Transfer Function. And what is USF Connect? So the groups that I'm responsible for include the incubators. So the incubation system, we have a student incubator where there's all cool student companies that range from yummy empanadas to medical devices. And then we have a traditional incubator that has everything from biotech companies to cybersecurity companies. Um, and then I'm also responsible for taking the really cool inventions from the faculty and moving them out of the lab and into companies and into the marketplace. Which is the not just theory, but practice that, that we were just talking about that, that USF, just like with the, <laughs> the brain racing drones, it's, Which are super it's cool. not just theory, <laughs> it's taking that concept to reality. Well, I like to joke with people that aside from the president, I probably have the coolest job because I get to see things at the very early stages when they're uh -huh. just thinking about it. And then I get to hold the stuff in my hands after it's made and see it get on the market. So it's just such a fun feeling to get to work with these cool faculty all the way through the process and try to help them solve those problems as they try to move it you know, out of the theory and into actual helping people's lives. It's very fun. And a little bit more in specific about those um, different innovations, what kind of things have you seen? So we have a kind of a weird mix of examples because USF is so big, right? We're everything from the medical school to engineering. We really cross a lot of disciplines. So for example, right now we have a nutritional supplement on the market that um, helps with putting people in ketosis and it's being sold by a number of companies um, both in the MLM space as well as in regular um, stores that is being used for weight loss and other things that comes out of medicine. So everything from a nutritional supplement to medical devices that are in the OBGYN space that help improve patient care. Um, we have a number of things in clinical trials, um, cancer therapeutics. So it really is just this huge range of technologies. And then if you um, stop at some of our incubator, student incubator booths, I mean, it really is tasty empanadas to a cool little device that makes it easier to put frosting on cakes. Um, just it, a wide range of Is companies. that what the one right over here is? It the, is, and the, she will decorate a cake in front of you so fast you will not believe it. I, Obviously, I haven't had a whole lot of time to explore what's up here, and you guys represent a good portion of what's up here, which is great. <laughs> You've got a wide variety of things, but from our studio, I have been seeing cakes over there. Did she bring cake? And she did bring cake, and I've seen her pitch at some different pitch competitions and VC things, and okay. she can stand up there and decorate the cake and change the couplet and change the different, because what her design is, is it enables you to keep the same pastry bag with the same frosting, say you're putting purple frosting on, and change the size or the type of the tip. So okay. you can go from flowers to writing letters without having to change out the whole bag. Sure. So she'll stand there, and she'll pitch her idea, and she will decorate that cake right in front of them, and then she will move off the stage. It's a Amazing. Oh, wow. So while she's pitching. While she's, she's pitching, she is decorating that cake. We needed a pitch. So <laughs> for next time, we, we needed a pitch. And these are some tasty cakes, too. Every time we have a local, you know, sort of potluck or something, she's sure. bringing cake. It's lovely. Right. That's awesome. Makes sense. Good person to have in the incubator. Indeed. And then you said that your role on these, like, what exactly do you do with each of these? 
So from the student incubator perspective, it's truly a collaborative with the MUMA College of Business. And so we work very closely with them providing sort of a combination of entrepreneurship education. They get training from our i site, which is a federally funded grant that provides um, entrepreneurship education that helps with customer discovery. Who's my customer? What's my market? So really a great way of teaching that, that we have a training grant to teach. So they get a piece of that. They get to be part of our uh, traditional incubators. So they get to meet all these companies that are further along than them, develop those networking relationships. And then they get a bit of the entrepreneurship education that comes from the business school. So it truly is a joint project. And this year we um, had the great opportunity to include um, the Zimmerman School, so now we have um, some of the advertising students who are trying to run a student advertising agency in there as well, working with some of those companies and helping them you know, develop logos and materials in a, in a more professional way. That's amazing, definitely. Wow. Yeah. So I think I, think I heard you say that there were there were three levels of this. There's students. So there's 25 student companies in there. Okay. We've got faculty. We have faculty startups. So of the 77 companies that we've helped in the last year in our incubator, about half of those are USF technology companies, and half are actually regional. And they're there because they want to work with USF, either by working with um, some of our faculty through research, through our quarter grants program, or having student interns. We have access to core facilities and equipment. Like we have over a million and a half dollars worth of shared equipment in the incubator that they just wouldn't have access to otherwise. So they're there really because they want to work with USF. So only half of those are our companies that might have a faculty involvement and half are from the community really trying to build their, their business in the area around USF. Okay, so, so that means that non-student slash faculty can apply to be part of this. Absolutely. How does that work? So we have a program where they apply to the incubator and they go to a vetting meeting. And in that meeting, we have some serial entrepreneurs, we have staff, we have folks who are experts in their space. And what we're really looking for are people who want to participate in the program and grow their business, right? If you don't, it's not about just renting space. It's right. really about figuring out. It's not just a co-working space. It's an actual, it's an incubator. Yeah, we're there to help. Things. Yeah, we're there to help and we're trying to figure out what can we do to help you advance your business. So do you really want to work with us? What are the ways that we can work together with USF, either helping you find funding or helping you find interns? And the folks also ask them a lot of tough questions about their business and their model and their technology. And then once they're accepted into the incubator, they could come in um, as an affiliate, they could rent just an office, they could have a suite, they could have a private lab. So we have a range of different available resources for them. And then we work with them on you know, free programming, finding mentors, um, helping with funding. My, could help with anything from an advisory board to um, making connections with some of the folks in our local region. So any resource that they could possibly need to help. We try. Yeah. We try our best. Can't always do it, but we really do try. And that we have a great network and we work closely with the other um, ESOs in our region. And so we all work together um, to try to help solve those problems. That's amazing. Well, it's definitely a lot of fun. <laughs> I would imagine so. It seems, like you said, it seems like you probably have a pretty great job within the school. Well, you never know what's coming through the exactly. door. And even on the tech transfer side, we really have gotten to work on everything from recording contracts for jazz CDs to immunotherapy to treat cancer. Like, it is never the same day twice. It's such an amazing university that you just no idea what's coming in the door every day. So it's a lot of learning and a lot of fun um, getting to work on all these different projects. So the opposite of Groundhog Day. <laughs> yes, it is never Groundhog Day. <laughs> it is never the same day twice. And I think everybody who works for us loves the fact that it is just this really energetic environment. And any student in any background of education can just come in and can work with so on the student incubator, there are no rules that it has to be a technology-based company. So we, last year, yeah, hence the, obviously. Hence the cake decorating. Yes, hence the cake decorating. Although I maybe could argue it's some sort of device, but um, I'll argue it. She, uh, so 
we had something like 75 uh, companies apply for those 25 spots. That's okay. where it gets really hard sure. because they were so good. And we had just a great group of local. The Tampa Bay Tech Group gave us some wonderful folks who participated as judges. We had judges from MUMA. And so they pitched in front of a pretty high-powered group of folks. Um, and we had to weasel it down to just the 25, unfortunately. Um, but just so much space. We'd love to do more. Um, sure. So it was super competitive for them to get in, but there weren't those same sort of rules. So we have some service companies. We have some that sell clothing. It really is a very broad mix. So you, you have service companies, which yeah, and the separates, you, se separates that from a lot of the other ones, including one that we can see from here, uh, <laughs> that absolutely w won't work with service companies at all. So... That's that's a, a well, interestingly a could, service that you guys <laughs> provide well, to your students the, that yeah, certainly is unusual. Yeah, from the student perspective, they could be service companies, and you could even have a technology-based company that's providing some services, either consulting or training in a specific spot. But from the regular incubator, it's really got to be technology-based companies. Sure. That's how many how many non. Did you say it was about 50-50 on the 75? So we've got oh. about 77 companies in the traditional incubator over the last year that we've worked okay. with. And then we have the additional 25 um, student companies. And just to kind of give you a sense, of those 77 companies, um, in the last year they raised over $54 million to move their techs forward. And the jobs are over 79000 in annual salary for the full-time jobs. So these tend to be very high-level positions and very technology-based folks. And just in that last reporting period, I think it was like th over 350 jobs either created or retained just for that cohort. Wow. So it's a, it's a lot of folks coming through and a lot of opportunity to work with some really interesting projects. And how long have you been working in this department? I have been with USF for 17 years, um, and USF has really just come such an amazing path. Um, we are so fortunate to have the leadership that we've had. Um, you know, it was, I mean, it, I did the license agreement and helped set up Incubator Tenant 01, um, who is still close associated with USF, that company has had something like 75 students work for them and get wow. just tremendous experience, go on and get great jobs. So the students even get these great opportunities to get real world work experience. Um, and especially as they work with companies in the incubator, it's right across the street. So they come across the street, they work with a company, they get to work on real world problems, and then they get to make it to their classes. So it's a great opportunity wow. for the companies and then the students get to work on projects that very different from what they would have done in the academic setting. It sounds like it. Sure. And That's amazing. Getting real world, any kind of real world experience is always, always a positive. Definitely. As, as Danielle as can student, attest yeah. to. <laughs> <laughs> That's really great. Now, if somebody, either a student or a non-student, is interested in getting more information about how this works, how can they do that? They can go to our website or they can email me. So if they go to the Tampa Bay Technology Incubator website or USF Connect website, there's a way to just click through. You can even do the application online. Um, if that's too painful, you can email me at vmcdevitt at usf.edu and we'll get you in the right place. Um, but we have a wonderful team of folks who are uh, very responsive and very interested in figuring out you know, what we can do to help. Very cool. Well, we definitely appreciate you coming and talking to us today. And uh, I can't wait to... I have a feeling that there's a good relationship <laughs> here to be able to help feature some of your... And I think there's muffins over there, so get them before they're gone. <laughs> M we muffins? We are planning on it. <laughs> it there are tasty muffins. I need muffins. Muffins? All yep. right. We'll be over there. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, thank you for the opportunity to talk about it. Thank you Absolutely. so much for speaking about it. And have a good rest of your day. Absolutely. Thanks so much.